Okay, we got an anti problem. A cool anti problem. And what I mean by that is cool ant. Cool ant problem. Uh, uh. Oh no. If you look, right down in here, there's uh, some oil and some coolant in there. At least that's what it tastes like. So I got this little pressure tester deal that I got from when I did that coolant thing on the escape. So we're gonna try it out and see if we can make it look like where it's coming from, we know. So let's just see. You know, it's supposed to go more than 35 psi. That's what I'm told. Oh, is that on? It's on. Got pressure release. That's good. Maybe we'll go 15. Or maybe we'll have to get on the Google machine. There's too much noise, I can't see nothing. I hear nothing. I'm thinking water pump maybe, but I don't know. Oh, I hear something. No, I don't. It's too noisy in here. Okay, that's 15 PSI. I wonder what the... Oh. What's peeing? <clears throat> oh! I just found a different leak. Oh, that's not good. Where's that coming from? Oh! Well. Maybe 15 PSI was too much. No. Bottom of the rad. Hope not. Nothing seemed to come out of here though. I'm gonna look that up quick. See how much PSI. I should have probably did that first. But we're gonna ignore the coolant problem for now because I don't feel like doing that. Anyway. <clears throat> I got uh, all installed there. So what happened was she got backed into, this is my wife's car, by the way, I forgot to tell you. She got backed into the other day and it got all, well, there's a little bit of body damage there, which I'm kind of like, ah, cause this is kind of a decent unit. So anyway, whatever, it is what it is. I, she doesn't wanna, he, she, he's gonna maybe pay. I can't talk. So she's, he's gonna pay for the tail light, which is fine. It's 150 bucks chipped. Which is, you know, a little bit of money. But we're having overdrive issues. Now, most of you know, if you have one of these old 240s, or I think it's maybe even on other Volvos with odd, uh, <coughs> Auto Trans, you have an overdrive button. And the overdrive, ow, ugh, overdrive button's here. And then there it goes into a solenoid in the, on the trans. So I took that solenoid off because obviously it wasn't working. And I put, I put, uh, I did a little notch. There's like a little custom hack you can do so that it stays on. So now I think maybe it's a solenoid or is the solenoid not part of that deal? I don't know. But this came, this was in the glove box. So, or not solenoid, relay. The solenoid's underneath in the tranny. Anyway, I took that off and did that little hack. I have the actual part because I thought maybe I did it wrong, but it's super basic. Oh, where the heck did I put it? Yeah, right here. So this is actually the part that you use that goes into the, on top of the trans. Like you want overdrive on all the time because then it's technically four speed. So anyway, you, you take this and you, with the solenoid, you take this, uh, the solenoid is a similar shape and then you just grind out the solenoid part in there. But I did order this just cause because well, it was 20 bucks or whatever. So I might put this in, but I might not need to, but I'm gonna check that relay. But maybe you don't need the relay once you do this. I don't know. I didn't really do very much research on it. Uh. But I'm gonna try and change the relay and see if I get some noise in the clicker. Then at least I know. Or maybe I'll do that first. Yeah, let's do that first. Oh, ow. <clears throat> get my fat ass in here. Let's just see. I don't know. Oh. Nope. 
See, you're getting no noise. But maybe because it's unhooked. Or not unhooked, but it's not. And the funny thing, the light is out. So it doesn't make sense because I unhooked it and usually the light will stay on, but you get overdrive and vice versa. So I'm having the exact opposite problems as everybody else that I've looked into anyway. So it is kind of weird. So I'm going to try, I'm going to pull that club box out quick and then uh, it's just eight screws or whatever and then check that relay and swap them. See if it helps. All right. No, still not shifting. That sucks. So what the deuce? Yeah, I just uh, knew that it was going to be not that easy. Because. Because. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like. Damn. Well, that uh, was unsuccessful, kind of. So I guess we're going to change that. I doubt that's the problem, but you never know. That just sucks. The fuck? <laughs> okay, so I discovered something. <clears throat> so this is the solenoid that sits in there. And uh, the little hack that you do is you grind, you grind this. Because the wires break and so on and so forth and all that fun stuff. And uh, you basically connect these two holes. So I'm assuming that coolant, coolant, oh, you're stunned. Are you stunned? Uh, uh. <laughs> tranny fluid, Bruce Jenner oil, goes through here to there, and then it fills up this part and allows it to go into fourth gear. I don't know, I don't know what it does, but it, that's, that's what you're supposed to do to make overdrive work with technically fourth gear in the automatic transmission. So anyway, I was like, hey, maybe I screwed up my little dealio here. It's not wide enough. It's not getting enough fluid. So anyway, I take this off and this is full. Well, the hole where that sits, the hole where that is, is full of shit, dirt and whatever else. So I'm thinking that's why I couldn't get the uh, overdrive. So we're going to go for a burn again and uh, see if we get some overdrive. So that's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. All right. We'll get back up on the old highway speed and hopefully we get all four gears. Holy bright guy. Those brights. Oh no, it's a Dodge. So it's probably got wiring problems. Oh, I hope this works. What's he breaking for? I feel like it's going to work. Maybe it's going to work? I don't know. I'll know here soon once I get to Hundy. This turd goes quicker. Oh, it worked. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. No way. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. That is sweet. Now we're in fourth gear. Because you can it's not idling or it's not revving as high. I wish this thing had a tack, but it does not. Alright, let's motor. Okay. So we're in first gear. Two. Three. Four. Yes! Awesome. Okay. That is sweet. It's all that dirt in there. I should have took a picture. I was under there and I, my hoist or my thing was in the road and blah 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 anyway beauty 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 uh, I gotta get my brother hand tomorrow at uh, his place with his truck he's working on uh, doing a long box Duramax frame up basically he's almost done he actually finished took time off and got a little bit more finister than I did or well than what we got on mine but mine's a little bit more of a different jobby so I'm gonna go up there tomorrow and uh, basically work on that with, with him, give him a hand. And uh, I do gotta run to pick and pull tomorrow. Well, I don't have to, but I'm gonna, just to browse. And uh, well, there'll probably be a little bit more on the Volvo here. There's probably a bunch of other stuff. I still gotta do blower motor because how you turn it on now is, oh, like that. There now it kicks in, but the heater works, man. 
Um, so that's gonna be a big job because you gotta pull the whole dash if you know, uh, if you're watching this video this far, the two of you anyway that are still here probably got a Volvo or you just half asleep on the couch. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's about it. But yeah, there's still a few. Oh, I gotta do motor mounts uh, on this thing. Oh, a tie rod. Uh, obviously the heater core is good. I did order a new heater core, but this thing blows so hot. Like it, 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 it's hot. I mean, it's not that cold though, but it blows good heat. Like this blows better than, better than my Chevy. So anyway, um, I guess that's it is what I'm trying to say. So that's cool. Cause she's been driving back and forth to work and it's about a 15, 10 mile drive. It's not far, but it's like highway, right? 110, we're kind of just the way I went. And uh, you know, revving, bam, highway, and it's like gas. Gas ain't cheap, right? So yeah. Thanks for watching my shitty videos. <laughs>